Hey there, in this tutorial I'm going to explain you how you can use Redmine project management web application. This application can be used for time tracking, also for issue tracking or you can say bug tracking system, also for multiple project tracking and for project related forums. So let's download this application for our desktop use from bitnami you can click on the installer icon go to bitnami.com and go for redmine stack then click on installer once the installer is downloaded all you have to do is extract the content into redmine folder in order to do that all you have to do is run the installer on your command line and that will extract the file after going through some of the installation process all the files will be unzipped here now all you have to do is go to redmine folder and then start the server it will open a manager for you and you will be able to access the application okay so just go to localhost 8080 redmine this will open blank page with nothing on it all you have to do is go for register or if you already register go for sign in okay now once you are sign in you can go to your account add more users in the right hand side you will find that you have option for accessing the account credentials and also there is sign out button also you have your first user profile page okay so you have here your account page and your last access related information when the user account created also for email notification you can check the settings here and preferences if you want to hide your email address or and other things for that you have to go to my page on your page see if you have any issues assigned or any issues reported by the users if not go for projects now it is time to add new project click on a new name and let's type web app testing project testing web app okay after that just create and continue or just click on create see what are the models that you want I don't want wiki but still I am checking everything so that you can see the demo now once our project is created you will be given a lot of app options here like activity issues new issue gen chart or can chart calendar news documents wiki files now we'll start with overview it will show us overview of our project which is testing web app and there are bug features and support the issues are tracked and listed are here after that you can also check for sub project if you have any like within small team and you want to track here as manager 
Also you have calendar feature and Gantt chart feature. Also called as Gantt depending on how you say or pronounce it. After that let's create a new issue and see if it appears. If it is a bug, choose for bug or feature, feature or support feature. Let's have it as a responsive responsive web page and status as new priority will be high and due date will be let's say end of the month percentage time zero now let's create this feature issue and let's see if it appears on our project Okay, now on issues page you will have this issue responsive web page how much work is done if there are subtasks related issues will be added here and here subtasks will be the list of tasks that you want others to work on and there are related issues that you are going to give to your other members or users also you can log the time edit this issue again watch it by clicking on this star icon or copy this task and paste in for new also you can delete it and you can also print this issue now let's come back to the giant chart and see if it has any change okay so our issue is added here which is feature request and that is in this Gen chart so whenever we add a feature bug or support request gen chart will reflect here in a timeline mode you can also filter based on status tracker priority author assign us any note subject created and other things okay that is pretty much the simple thing here now let's move on to things like calendar just mark here if you have any specific thing like for example our feature request for a responsive web page is started on 26th going to end on 31st so this calendar will help others to keep on track and they can also view the status here if it is a deadline or not it will show on with the red icon okay then here is news tab so if there is any news related to the bugs status and tracker it will be displayed here you can also add news and it will be shown on this page to everyone within the project and there is documents you can upload a document or create new document which is user documentation or technical documentation so in case of user documentation add everything that you want or use for uploading from here and then click on create likewise you can also create wiki for your project use markup you can read about markup on the sites where you are going to see the wiki related code same code can be used in this text box and you can save it and after that you can view it on this page you can also click on preview and see how it shows at the bottom like if you want to have link it will be shown here click on preview it will have this here I will just have to work on the markup right now that there are files just go to the files tab and see if you can add new file which is helpful for our project you should upload from here and it will appear on files tab also if there are any settings that you want to do for each modules members activities etc will be done from here so coming back here we have our project and all the feature support and bug requests tracked from this page 
also let's go back to projects page and you will find that we have one project here you can create as many project under this and keep track of each of them individually also there is administration page from which you will be able to track every simple thing that goes in red like project related administration users groups roles and permissions trackers issue status workflow add custom fields which are necessary for your project enumerations and settings LDAP authentication and plugins should be left for advanced users so I'm not going to discuss that so let's see what we can do with project administration okay so all the settings related to this project will be accessed from here which will be same like the one we previously checked on settings tab so all the options that we see here can be accessed from either here or you can go for individual project and click on settings tab so that is pretty much our small red mine tutorial and I have covered simple information that help you navigate through this web app and you will be able to work on issue tracker or project management or support related features of this application let me know if you have any questions related to uh, this video or if you want any in-depth explanation of for redmine or mantis bug tracker and i will be happy to help and i will see you in the next tutorial